Good morning. It's me, Melissa, at Safe Haven Ministries. You know what I've decided? The more I study the Word of God, the more I wish I'd studied Greek so I could understand it because I go back one word at a time to say, hmm, what does that really mean? Because if we just read the Word like this, sometimes we don't get the richness of it. Well, yesterday I talked about the Holy Spirit and I told you I wanted to talk a little more about Him. And today... The verse that we read yesterday was John 14, 16, but we're going to take a different part of it. And it says this, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. When Jesus fellowshiped in the upper room that night, he knew that within just a few hours, he was going to be taken away. He knew that. But he just poured into them all night, poured into them. We know that because we see three chapters in the book of John that dealt strictly with all of the things that he wanted to prepare them for and say, this is what you need to know about the Holy Spirit. This is, these, these are the, this is the information you need. And he said, I will send you another comforter. The word another is such an interesting word. I just think of it as, well, he's going to send somebody else. But it's not what it means. <clears throat> it means he's going to send another of the exact same kind. So what he's saying here is Jesus was sending a message that said, listen, when the Holy Spirit comes, that spirit is going to be exactly like me. And, and he said, he'll represent me in every way. He'll say what I would have said. He'll do what I would have done. He can bring the miracles and the signs and the wonders, just like I did. And, and he will love like I loved. The Holy Spirit is a mirror image of Jesus. And so the, the disciples couldn't help but be encouraged by that because they were so, I mean, they had spent all this time with Jesus day after day. He had taught them. He had brought them up. He poured into them so many things. And yet, he's saying, this one that's coming, I got to go so he can come. The, Jesus was always limited to one place. The Holy Spirit is in all believers. So he can travel all through the world at the exact moment in time. Sometimes I hear people say, boy, I wish I lived 2,000 years ago. I, I think if I could have walked with Jesus, it'd just been wonderful, been wonderful. 2,000 years later, we still walk with Jesus. It's the Spirit of Christ that we walk with. It's the Holy Spirit, and we walk with him wherever we go. That should be uh, a lot easier. I don't want to go back to the ancient days and live in the conditions they lived in. Not, I'm not that, I kind of like comfort. <laughs> comfort, I think I do. So if you want to know what the Spirit is like, look at Jesus in the four Gospels. Because everyone tells a story about Jesus and gives you ideas of this is what he's like, this is who he was. And when you see that, now you know, okay, Holy Spirit is going to be just like him. The word for uh, comforter, we know we've heard it before, many times before. And, and it's parakletos. And the word para or para means alongside. And the word kletos is also part of that. And, and it means comforter. But, but it's so much more than saying alongside. This is a, a great picture of someone who comes alongside like a husband and a wife. You know, Jerry and I hold hands. We walk together. We talk together. We laugh together. And and we're so close because we do so many things together that if he said, before he ever says something, I just burst out laughing. I know what he's going to say. I've listened to him before. And I can tell by the look on his face, then he gets tickled because he knew what he was going to say. So it's that closeness that is so different than what we think of as close. That tells me that Holy Spirit, when he's in me, is so close to me, he knows what I'm going to say. He knows what I'm going to do. But he also knows what, what Jesus would do in the same situations. So 
when two people are so close that way, they have the same feelings, the same traits, the same character, the same habits, the same gestures. And basically, it's the same thing with us in, in the Holy Spirit. This is a level of closeness we're not used to. But boy, wouldn't that be great just to know that the Holy Spirit is right with you every move you make, every move you make. I love this. I, I love this. The more I, I study on the Holy Spirit, the more I, I just love him so much. And he does so much in my life. He leads us, guides us, directs us, just like Jesus would have. So you don't have to go back 2,000 years. You can take him today and take the comforts of home with you right now. He's right there with you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for these people. And Lord, I pray, God, right now that your Holy Spirit, make your you make yourself known. Make yourself known to each one of us, Lord, because we've got you inside us if we're a believer. And Lord, I thank you for that. Now lead me through this world and lead these people through this world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station.